All right, what's going on guys? It's Chev and welcome to a little video. Today I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to play, to be honest. World War II beta ended, I had like a whole bunch of shit going on today. I haven't really been able to get anything done just because I had like a whole bunch of people still coming here to do all sorts of things. Doing things, building things, installing things, just all sorts of shit. I can't wait for everything to be completely settled just so I can actually do this house tour thing like everybody was asking for. I was gonna do a Friday the 13th video. Hopefully if the World War II beta starts uh, early like it did last weekend. It starts on Thursday, we won't have too much of an issue. I, last night I actually tried to play a little bit of MWR and uh, dude the game World War II's play style and just the way that the game is played and just how quickly you're melted and just like how you have to play on top of the sensitivity being slightly lower even the max sensitivity on World War II is way slower than like 20 sensitivity on MWR or at least it felt that way for me and obviously with the sniping feeling different and you know just all that shit and melted by PPSA just thought getting one bursted by M16s was bad but yeah there's a lot of other bad things too yeah there's a lot of really fast ways to die so I tried playing a little bit of MWR you are and I just I don't know what I'm gonna do I really don't it's just it's gonna feel so weird and it's just right now anyway it's gonna feel weird obviously I'm gonna have to play some Call of Duty at that time and right now actually I don't even have my Xbox 360 anymore I mean if you guys have seen the old videos of that Xbox 360 the entire bottom panel is completely broken off of it the tray hardly opens and closes and even when it does open and close it doesn't read shit correctly so if I had like a physical copy of any game I would have to go and digitally download it for it to work meaning I would have to buy it twice honestly if I I tried to pick any Call of Duty to compare to how it felt, I would say that the Commonwealth feels just like, or very similar to the MW3 L11. I, I can't be the only one that sees that. I think uh, Kitty pointed that out to me, FaZe Kitty Cameron. He pointed that out to me, and ever since he said that to me, it's kind of felt that way. It really has. Obviously, without the reload canceling and the model being different, but the way that it scopes in, it just feels very similar. It's really stiff, but after you shoot, it just, it's got that, I don't even know how to explain it. And that's just the Commonwealth. Uh, we don't even know if we're gonna be getting another sniper rifle at by level 40. Uh, by the way, I, uh, I put a headset on Moby there. Uh, I'm gonna try not to show too much of the shaft here. <laughs> I still have to build this other desk that's gonna go right where these boxes are, and hopefully I can get all these boxes out of this room finally. Right now I got Destiny 2 up on PC. It just, honestly, I haven't even played it yet, but everything that I have seen from everybody that has played this, all the streamers that I've watched play it, all the people that I know that have played it so far today, it was released a day earlier for people that had it pre-ordered for PC, but I had it pre-ordered for console, but now it's making me, like, contemplate pre-ordering it for PC, because everybody's saying, like, this feels like how Destiny should have been played in the first place seriously like it just it seems so great just because console is just locked at 30 fps for whatever reason it just doesn't feel nearly as good as it does on pc so i don't really know what i'm gonna do um there's a lot of people that wanted to grind with me on the console version of the game but honestly like pc feels so good i i might have to try to convince people or so i don't know obviously we're going more locked just like the last videos i made the thing is i'm probably not gonna make many videos on the game just because i didn't realize like how many people kind of hated on the game or it's just people didn't really enjoy watching Watching it as much, which I completely understand. The thing is, I'm gonna need something to hold me over in my free time anyway to play during this whole deal, waiting all the way until November. There's no reason to sit around and wait for the PC version of the game that comes out like less than two weeks away from uh, World War II's release. So I'm just gonna play and grind out the console version of the game in my free time, and I guess just play some MWR, and maybe some Injustice. I don't fucking know. Uh, and obviously some Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th did get updated. They added the small versions of the map, so it makes it more, I guess, like action packed, and there's just way more shit just crunched together. I've already played a couple games and it's pretty fun. So tomorrow on Wednesday, I'm probably gonna do that. The whole thing that I talked about before with the whole uh, very small Tiffany Cox outfit and fucking Chad and a Speedo, that whole thing that I showed, I have no idea when that's supposed to happen, but they fixed a lot of glitches, a lot of out of the map glitches, a lot of the glitches where items would fall through the ground or you couldn't pick something up or when you tried to climb through a window, your character would get stuck and fly away like mine did. And also they removed team killing. Which, I mean, the games that I've been in have actually been a little less toxic, which is a good thing, but I'm not really sure if maybe I just had a good night, or if maybe just the lobbies that I got into were just very good, or maybe just all the people that were team killing felt like, oh, there's no reason to play the game anymore, I don't know. I've done my fair share of, uh, you know, team killing in the game, but obviously not for absolutely no reason. Some are very overreactive, some are far too aggressive, I agree with that. I'm an asshole at times, I know that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So tomorrow I'm gonna be uploading a Friday the 13th video, sorry if today's video wasn't, you know, 
eventful or have any gameplay or whatever. I know a whole bunch of people actually ask me to vlog and all this other stuff, and then other people reply to them and saying, oh, he's gonna convert to a vlogger like the rest of the face house and shit. The comment section is just, just stay away. Just stay away from that. It's, it's a bad place. But again, thank you guys so much for all the support on, you know, all my videos recently. They've been doing much better, and I honestly expected a lot more, I don't know, a lot more negativity to come my way just for how everything is. Uh, I, I don't know. It's always hard doing new things. You guys already know how I am. I've done the same thing for years upon years upon years, but as life goes, you know, shit just gradually changes over time, whether you want it to or not. Trust me. Honestly, not that much has changed in my everyday life. Like, I still sit here for at least 90% of my day doing this when I don't have anything else to do. All I do is sit around and play video games. My passions are not changed, and I'm not changed in any way, shape, or form. It's just now I'm in a different position, and honestly, in a better position overall. But I know most of you guys understand that, and again, I just thank you guys for just you know, being here. So none of this would be possible without you guys. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.